everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company and did you notice no sewing machine over here? That is because today we are going to talk about tying a quilt. There have been so many people who have asked, how do I tie a quilt? And honestly, this is the way I always finished my quilts until I got a quilt machine. And so uh, I wanted to show you how to do that because it's, it's super easy, but there's just a few key things you want to know. So first let's talk about thread. Now I have here some pearl cotton. And pearl cotton will work, but there are so many options. I've used yarn, I've used that tiny eighth inch ribbon, I've used embroidery floss, and if you use embroidery floss, I left it whole. I left it, you know, all six strands together. I've used, oh, just, you know, whatever, actually, the key is whatever you can get to go through the eye of your needle. Now, I have a needle here that has a big eye on it. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Did you see this little lipstick thing right here? I love this. Anyway, so see this little eye right here? It's a long slender eye, but it's large. And, um, and I can get this floss through it. And we're, we're actually going to test me on that right now. Uh, and we're going to do this, this, uh, this strings through here. And I just kind of pinch it close and kind of push it through. All right, there we go. All right. So once it's through the needle, that's the key for being able to tie a quilt. If you can fit it through your needle, and obviously you can get a bigger needle, you know, whatever it is that works. So the key to tying a quilt for me was that I tied a quilt basically like, like I hand quilted it, because I did it row by row like this. And you want to look at your quilt and you want to see if there are um, natural places that you can tie the quilt. If you want your thread to show up, if you want it to be an accent, you're going to use a different color. If you want to hide it, you know, like this one, if you wanted to hide it, you could do it in all the navy squares and it would hide it. The key for um, tying a quilt, the one thing you have to remember is that your stitches should be about a hand width apart. And so you're going to go in here and then you don't have to go in till over here. But you want it to be about a hand width apart. Now my quilt is already put together with its batting and its bind and its backing back here. It's already put together three layers and I'm ready to quilt. Now I would, I often did my hand tying on the floor because I didn't have a big space. Um, and my dining room usually had, my dining room table usually had laundry on it, so I couldn't actually tie a quilt there. So, uh, so a table's great and you can sit, but I often did it on the floor and I would just start along about here. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that um, you go all the way through and I'm just gonna pull that through, straight through like this. And sometimes you have to give it a good tuck and I'm gonna leave a tail out here and I'm gonna come up and do a, come up about a quarter of an inch next to it. And you can just kind of feel it under there and come up and hold it flat and you've got this good tie right here. Now, you, then, you, then you're gonna just regular tie it. And I always kind of slide mine short to save as much thread as I can. And so I would pull this way and slide it short and then um, double tie it. Now, there's a couple of things you can do and do what works best for you. Obviously there is no you know, there's not really any rules on this, but what I would do is I would then, you know, put my hand and I would come over about this far and I wouldn't cut my thread yet. And I would just go down straight again and make another tie. And then I would cut them all at once. So if you want to cut your thread um, as you go along, you can. It's entirely up to you. Now remember, when you're doing tying on a border like this, on this blue border, it's gonna show if I'm off a little bit and you can see that I am. I would actually take that out and fix it. Um, but for demonstration, I'm just gonna leave it. But remember on a border, this part is gonna be bound. And so it's gonna be held together here, it's gonna be held together here, and then it's gonna be held together over here. So as long as you're about a hand width apart, you're good to go. So then what I do here is I'm gonna clip this, and I'm gonna clip this, and I'm gonna tie these as I go along. And I just did regular, regular granny knots. So the key to this is a few decisions. Do you want your thread to show or not? Do you want it to be an accent or not? What kind of thread do you wanna use? Do you have a needle that will fit that? And, uh, and then, you know, uh, do you want it to, to blend or, you know, stand out and then you can just go along and do that now you can see this is this is i mean this is going to hold this quilt together because i'm going to have another one here another one here and i'm just going to go along now what i would normally do is i'd go along here i'd come back and i'd go along here and then what i do is i'd kind of turn this like this and roll it a little bit so that i was you know up like this and then i'm just going to keep tying along 
So I hope that helps you with tying. Tying is a really easy way and relatively inexpensive to hold your quilt together. And, um, and if that's what you wanna do, that's what works. So tying a quilt is a great way if you wanna get your quilt finished right now. So we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to hand tie a quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.